Let's take a look at the anti-differentiating x times e to the 2x. So first key observation is the following, friends. x and e to the 2x are different unrelated functions. You want to make that observation because it tells you something really important. Use integration by parts. Next, you need to choose u. So when you use integration by parts, you can use this thing called ilate here, and you go through it. So i is for inverse trig, l is for logarithmic. We don't have that. We don't have an inverse trig, but we do have an algebraic one. So in this context, remember, a is algebraic this way. So here what it tells you is that you can set the following, u equal to x. And when you differentiate this, it's going to tell you that du is equal to dx. It also tells you, therefore, that this part, e to the 2x dx, that this is your dv. So then what you need to do is you anti-differentiate both of those sides. The antiderivative of e to the 2x is the following, 1 over 2e to the 2x. And then the antiderivative of dv is just v this way. So then you're going to copy this integral straight down. Let's do that right now. And then this is going to be equal to the following by the integration by parts formula, u times v. So in our case, u is x. You're going to multiply by v. In our case, that's going to be 1 half e raised to the 2x. And you're going to subtract from this the integral of v du. So our v, as you can see, is equal to the following, 1 half, and then e to the 2x, and now our du is equal to dx, right here. So that means this becomes dx in this position. The first one there I'm going to write as 1 half e raised to the 2x, for example. The next one it will look like minus, and the 1 half inside the integral, I'm going to place that outside the integral. So it's going to come down when my cursor is flickering as just 1 half, and then basically the integral part will be copied. So e raised to the 2x dx. So here also don't forget to put the x in this position. And then we can continue down below. So I'm going to have now 1 half x e raised to the 2x minus 1 half. The antiderivative of e to the 2x, that would be another 1 half e to the 2x and then plus the c. Lastly, we can clean this up a little bit. For example, pull a half out and then an e to the x out. So for example, from this one, this red one half and this e to the 2x in red. From the second one, same thing. One half times e to the 2x in red. Those pieces in red can be placed outside. So that's going to give me one half e to the 2x. And within brackets, I'm going to have x minus the other one half from the second term left over plus c. And then you can think of this as the answer. If it's been helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.